And then there's this mysterious sound in Tampa that has, well, it's resurfaced. Neighbors say that uh, this nighttime bass sound that they're hearing is back. Some suspect it to be just a loud party. One scientist actually believes it could be the sound of fish mating in the bay. It's caused such a disruption, some residents are now raising money to try and figure out what it is. Let's go to Fox 13's Jordan Bowen live for us in South Tampa tonight. Uh, hi there, Jordan. I know we talked about this many months ago. Uh, no real end to this mystery here, but it's back on the burner, I guess. Uh, how are they putting scientists' theory to the test with this news? Well, Mark, residents say the not knowing is what is so frustrating here. Is this a human caused sound? Is it nature? It's caused such a stir. Residents are now raising money to bring a scientist out here to pay him to install underwater microphones to finally get to the bottom of this and hopefully ease some neighborhood concerns. This is the sound of black drumfish mating. It's the same sound Sarah Healy says she heard inside her South Tampa home Saturday night. That's exactly what I heard. Identical in um, tone and like rhythm. The sound has been plaguing residents across South Tampa since 2021, but still no one has been able to confirm what it is. That's when we spoke with scientist Dr. James Locasi with Moat Marine, who explained it could be the sound of black drumfish mating, which are in their mating season right now. It's a low frequency sound, and so they travel much better. They go further distances and they go through uh, dissimilar media more efficiently. As Dr. Locasio explains, the mating sound travels through the ground, which might explain why homes more than a mile from the water can still hear it. Back in 2005, he did his dissertation on this very topic at the University of South Florida College of Marine Science and helped people in Cape Coral and Punta Gorda solve their own mystery by using underwater acoustic recorders and having neighbors log their observations. Healy now wants to do the same. I just want answers for the community, for me, just for everybody who's curious. Wednesday, she started this GoFundMe page and within hours already raised more than $500. It'll cost about $2,500 to install the microphones and potentially more as the project goes on. Just having an answer or having a clearer answer or more information would just help everybody as a whole. Once started, Dr. Locasio says they'll keep the microphones likely in the water recording until April. Once analyzed, they could finally get an answer as to what the mysterious bass sound really is. Understanding this is satisfying and, and it reduces the anxiety about what the source is, but it also offers the opportunity to, to learn something pretty neat about the natural world. Yeah, and we just checked that GoFundMe is now up to $600. Keep in mind, that was started at noon today. It just shows how desperate people are to find out what this sound is. Uh, Dr. Lacasio says as soon as they meet that $2,500 threshold, we'll be out here installing these microphones, so it could happen in the next few days. We will keep you guys posted on what happens here. Guys? All right, Jordan, thanks. I know Paul's watching us closely. He's telling yeah. us it makes sense that this sound, because of the cooler air in the wintertime is more dense, the sound is going to be louder and more accentuated, if you will. Yeah, yeah. this tends yeah. to be the time of year when that conversation sparks back up again. You know, prime mating season and then the cool it air. It's really so something else. It all lines up.